Hello and welcome to the interview with Omar. It's part one. Um, before we start, I just want to say a huge thank you to Omar and his management for letting me do this. It was so much fun. The whole article will gonna be published in Display Magazine, a Switzerland gay magazine. So check it out. I will um, like keep you updated about um, when it's out. And now enjoy the interview. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram channel or TikTok. It means the world to me. I'm doing mostly books, lifestyle and like fashion or like just queer content. So if you like that, it will mean the world to me. And now enjoy the interview and yeah thank you again omar it was so so much fun perfect how are you i'm doing good how are you <laughs> i'm good i'm i'm really good are you I'm busy good. at the moment uh well yeah kind of uh so i've been in the studio all week uh and uh i'm doing some fun stuff this weekend I'm cool. Going to, what are you planning to do? I'm going to be at the Swedish uh, gala called uh, Rockbjörnen, the cool. rock beer. Thing. Uh, the rock cool. bear, not beer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you going to perform or just as a guest? Uh, well, I'm going to perform. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to sing uh, a little song. And then I'm also going to uh, share who won the award for uh, best fans or like best Swedish fan. Okay, wow, exciting. Cool. Yes. Really <laughs> Very nice. Wow, I'm so glad that worked actually because... What do you mean? Like the interview. Oh, like, like the question? Yeah. I mean, I can imagine like you have so many requests from everyone at the moment, no? <laughs> well... I'm not quite sure, but I hope so. Yeah, yeah, because actually, like, um, I announced, like, for our community that we're going to do this interview, and, like, your fans went crazy. Like, they were literally, like, it was insane. Like, on TikTok, the TikTok where I said, okay, I'm going to interview Omar, like, you can drop me some questions. It went viral. So many people were like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I was like, it's just what? me telling that we're gonna have an interview it's not even like you know <laughs> it's not even the actual interview yet so so i was like okay he's on demand everyone wants him and i mean I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> no that's I'm actually so cool um so we uh, are gonna do this for the swiss gay magazine i'm from yeah. switzerland and yeah we're just gonna talk a little bit about acting young royals but also obviously about your music and what the future holds cool. for you. So I hope, um, cool. and if you just don't want to answer anything, just tell me, I mean, I just want to have a nice chat, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> cool. Um, so first I want to know, and I guess you already told that, but how, like, how did you get the role for Young Roy Royals? Because you never really like you had some smaller acting roles before, but not such a huge role, and especially not on Netflix for such a huge series. Well, well, so I actually uh, haven't got any roles before this one. Like I've never been in uh, the film industry before Young Royals. Uh, the only kind of acting that I did before, it was like music videos. So like mm -hmm. music video acting, where I walk in in a room and like look around or, you know, being emotionally, uh, singing emotionally in a music video, but never like in a movie or a series. Mm. So basically, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. uh, so uh, basically I just um, emailed the uh, casting directors. Oh, wow. Uh, the ones that find, you know, actors and like reach out to agents to like get their actors to come in and do the acting for, for the series. So I just mailed them myself on the way uh, home to my parents. Uh, oh, wow. Because my friend Felicia, Felicia, uh, she also had uh, has one of the roles in Young Girls, like a like a little smaller role called Stella. 
one of Felice friends. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, so she uh, did the casting for for Young Rose, and then I told her, "Oh my God, I really want to do this as well. Like, can you hook me up? Can you like give me the email address so I can like reach out to them?" So I did, and then I they were happy that I reach out and then they said that I could come like the week after to do the casting and then I did like a few castings for like over a month and then finally I got the role so so wow. yeah crazy story so not really like <laughs> not in the usual way like a little bit special even yeah bro pretty cool so how <laughs> was how was filming for you like first time really acting and not just like in a music video how was that for you i mean if i compare it to like uh doing a music video you are i felt more naked uh because i didn't because i couldn't uh hide behind the music or hide behind the artist that i want to be you know what i mean <laughs> i it was just completely quiet and the only thing you saw and you you hear on set is just me and my voice you know the cameras are so close to your face and it's just like you feel really naked oh my gosh i don't think i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> uh no it went away uh, <laughs> so uh it was pretty scary but it was just so fun and it was really fun to have something to do every day basically uh i woke up pretty early those early mornings though was not that fun i was not a fan of those early mornings but uh it was just so nice to have something to do and then i uh, go back home like on the afternoon late afternoons and i met up with friends and they were like oh so how did it go today i was like oh yeah it was so much fun i did this scene and it was really fun blah, blah, blah. and then i went back home i slept for a few hours and then back on it again it was just awesome to have something like a work a work to do like every day cool wow um so when you filmed that whole thing did you really think that it would be such a big success as it became i mean i was hoping it to be because i feel like it is uh it is such a good story and since day one i fell in love with this story and i've never seen or heard something like that before um and so i just really wanted it to blow up because you know the story is really important and i want everybody to to see what what we're trying to say you know and and understand like uh teenagers and different people you know like we are all different and we all work different so uh for me it was just so important i really wanted the whole world to see this uh and i'm just so happy that like everybody loves it and it really blew up like more than what i actually was expecting it to do uh because i was like kind of hoping that it was going to be as successful as like other uh swedish or nordic netflix uh series i was like oh my god really hope that it's like on that level at least and then we know that you know people like it um and so it did so i feel really really blessed and happy that it it blew yeah. up like that yeah i mean it's crazy i knew when it when it was released i was like oh my god okay uh, a royal series i was a little bit skeptic to be honest because royal series sometimes can be really nice but sometimes also a bit trashy you know but i felt like this one was not actually it was really well made and i liked the whole concept and the storytelling and what i really really liked is that you like you know the whole gay part or lgbtq part it was a central part of the story but it was not actually like you know that classical super over dramatic story it was just a yeah, cute yeah. love story and that's what i loved about it so it was um yeah it just gave me and i think a lot of other young people a lot of hope and like 
a feeling of okay we are also we also deserve to just fall in love in school or yeah. wherever so I thank you to you for that that was really like okay, I think you. you played amazing um, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and also like subscribe to my um, like Instagram channel if you like what you saw and if you want to see part two, three, and I also guess part four. We'll see. And um, yeah, if you like books, also check out my reel or TikTok about books that you should read if you like Young Royals. And don't forget to comment like if you want a season two because we all need season two right so you have to comment that yeah that's it and um, have a wonderful day